Hey everyone, welcome to week 10 of Intro to Programming. I hope you had a good time last week working on um, your second milestone for your final adventure game. Uh, this week you're going to be learning how to build a little bit more for your final adventure game. You'll learn how to make a cool keyboard controlled menu and you'll also learn um, how to read documentation well so you'll be able to find all the things that you need for your game. So let me switch over to my desktop screen here and let's walk through the canvas really quickly. So you'll have this in your announcement, but everything is under the week 10 module and there's an overview page, which is your landing page for week 10 that shows you everything you need. You'll be watching the video here. There is the reading documentation lecture. Um, and this is an excellent lecture from Dr. Fisher that goes through how to read um, documentation in general and, and specifically how to read Microsoft documentation. Um, there is a tutorial here going through how to create a uh, keyboard controlled menu system, which I personally think is really cool and should hopefully be exciting. Um, it, it shows you how to build something. Let's wait for it to load. That looks like this, where you can actually use your keyboard to select elements from the menu and then um, click enter to select them. So this is very different than the kinds of menus that we've created before. And then in terms of assignments, you have a couple of things. So there's the stopwatch practice assignment that's based off of um, Dr. Fisher's lecture. Um, there is the midterm exam for this week. So I wanna highlight this. The midterm exam is open on the day that we have class. So this is on the 23rd. It unlocks at 12 a.m. on the 23rd and stays open until midnight. You've got 40 minutes to complete it and submit it. So um, before you start it, make sure you've cleared out 40 minutes from your day to be able to do it because you get, you get one chance to um, submit it. So you can go through, there's a link to the study guide for the exam here, um, more info on it. So th this is also like our exams we've had in class, our quizzes in class, this is closed book. So you gotta close all your tabs, close Visual Studio before you take the exam. Um, not allowed to communicate with other people during the exam and ask for help. You will get your score immediately after finishing this, um, but you won't be able to see what you got right and wrong until the following day after everyone has taken the, the exam. And this, this same structure as our quizzes, it's multiple choice. Um, if you go through this review, you make sure you know the answers to the questions on that review, you should do really well. Flipping back, the um, next thing you're going to be working on is the Adventure Game Milestone 3, where you're building your code skeleton for your game. So go ahead and check out that link for more information. As always, you can schedule a Zoom meeting with me, and um, there's the Week 10 discussion. And in particular for Week 10, I really highly recommend that you share some of your work for your Adventure Game with your peers and give feedback to each other so that you can start sort of play testing and, and getting feedback on your ideas before um, getting too far deep into your adventure game. So that's all I've got for you for this week. This is all live now, so you can start going through it. Um, stay safe and email me if you have questions.